Mooresville Public Library. And today I went walking through the juvenile stacks and boy did I find some good books that caught my eye. And I wanted to share some of them with you. So let's jump in. The first book I found was The Explorer's Academy, Nebula Secret, and it's by Trudy Truant. And this book looks like it is packed with adventure. So in this book, we're gonna meet 12-year-old Cruz Carnado, and he is leaving behind his home in Hawaii. How exciting is that? To attend a prestigious Explorers Academy, where he and 23 other kids from around the world will train to become the next generation of great explorers. But there's something going on at the academy and his family is a part of it. So as he unravels the secrets of his family and the academy and go on adventures. So I think it'll be really fun to check out. It does have some really um, graphic pages that really pull you in to the story with all of the different technology. The next book I found, I just really liked the name. It's called Caddy Wampus. And isn't that just fun to say? Caddy Wampus just rolls right off the tongue. So this book is about when your life starts to feel Caddy Wampus, crooked, or downright sideways. Take a chance, cast a spell, and make some magic. So in this story, we're going to learn about two friends who are learning how to use their magic. So if you're looking for a fun fantasy adventure, this one might be for you. The next book that caught my eye is called Inkling by Kenneth Opal. And so what really caught my eye was the side. Like I really like the smiley face and the ink. So in it, we are going to meet the ink man. And from the moment this inkling drags himself free from the page of a sketchbook, he is on a mission to teach Ethan how to draw, to help Ethan's artist dad get work again, and to try to fix something inside Ethan's house and heart. So if you like to draw or interested in um, creating comic books or learning how to make a story, you might just want to try out Inkling. It does have a lot of comic book spreads in it as well, but it still has a lot of text. So I think you might find this one interesting. Now, my next book. You might find, if you come to the library and talk to me, I'm a little obsessed with dragons. So I have to admit, when I was walking through the, the stats and I found the Land of War by Jenny McClellan. I was quite excited. And so in this story, we are going to meet Arthur and Rose, and they created this world of roar when they were younger. But now they're getting older, they're 11, and Rose, yes, Rose, doesn't quite want to play um, imagination with dragons and mermaids and all of that. But their grandfather goes missing into the land of roar and only Arthur and Rose can find him. So they must travel to the land of roar again. So if you're looking for a fun fantasy adventure, maybe you like the um, C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Wish, and the Wardrobe, this might be something you're interested in. Our next book is called Digging for Trouble by Linda Ferristein. Now, if you're looking for a good mystery or you like history, you might enjoy this book. So in it, we're gonna travel to the Baldlands of Montana. So De um, Devin is in Montana with her best friend, Katie, exploring the outdoors and hoping not to get into trouble. But Katie and Dev suspect that something bad is in the Badlands. When the fossils Kate finds on a dinosaur dig mysteriously disappear. The good news? With mom in New York, no one can stop her from investigating. But the fossil thief isn't the 
only danger here, as snakes, scorpions, and bears abound, making Montana a treacherous place for finding answers. So, if you want to go on an adventure with Kate and Deb as they try to figure out what happened with the fossils in Montana, this might be a good book for you. And so finally, the last book that caught my eye was The Next Great Jane by K.L. Going. Now, in this book, we meet Jane, who is an aspiring author. But when she meets her idol, things don't turn out quite as planned. And the idol's son, Devin, ends up being one of her classmates at school. Her and Devin have to do a science project together. So Devin really likes science, but Jane really likes writing and telling stories. So how will they work together to complete their project along with all the other crazy things that happen when you're in middle school? If you're looking for a fun adventure, I highly recommend The Next Great Jane. So when I went walking through the stacks, these were some of the books that caught my eye. If you want to check out one of them, I bet you'll have fun. Or better yet, come in and walk through the stacks and find your next great read. <laughs>